Tell me when we're live. Oh, good. All right. All right. Hey guys, Mr. Mena here. I'm uh, just going to show you a few things here online so you guys can uh, log into the computer. I know some of you were having some issues. I know your parents were emailing me. Hopefully this can resolve some issues and uh, when you log in shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Now for the most part, those of you who have a computer um, or Windows, if you will, will use uh, Google Chrome just like we do at school. Okay. So when you log in, you'll have uh, the Clever app. Okay, clever.com. And if I'm not mistaken, log in as a student. Okay, and then it'll say this, uh, it should say Socorro Independent School District, okay? Make sure if that's not the case, there's a little link here that says not your district if it's blank. Um, and uh, you can type in Socorro Independent School and it should just uh, pop up for you, okay? So when you log in with Active Directory, you'll have your uh, account right here. This is where you sign in. Now make sure it's your full email, your username, at student.sisd.net, whatever password the school gave you. Usually it's what the initials and the four numbers, right, bro? Something like that, mm -hmm. okay? Um, what you could do is a neat trick. I'm gonna log in through uh, Via's account. When you log in, sometimes you can save it onto your browser so you don't have to retype it, okay? So you click sign in, and there you go, okay? Now your favorite resources are normally going to be up top if you put hearts on them. Otherwise, you have to scroll to the bottom, and the instant applications are. You have the, uh, the ed, which is for reading. Uh, you guys got your studies weekly here. For social studies, of course, there's iStation Math. You've got LightSail. At Galaxy and we're gonna add some more stuff to uh, beginning next week and after that everything will be coming out on a Nearpod and we'll send you the code so you guys can log in for those but that'll be next week but anyway as far as Ed is concerned so you just go ahead and click on it this is for your reading okay now those of you who have this online you just got to give it a moment to load okay now, when you come in, make sure it says HMH uh, into reading Texas grade 05, okay? Sometimes uh, it would pop, it would show second grade, third grade stuff, which isn't a big deal, but make sure there should be a link uh, for grade 05. Now, right now we're on module 5, Project Earth, but or your teacher should have assigned something for you here, yeah. So under assignments right there, you'll have your to-do for the week. Now, some of us may have uh, assigned these and giving you two, three, two or three weeks to get it done. Normally, we're giving you about one full week to get it done. Either way, contact your teachers. If you're not sure, email us, Twitter us. Me, you could always uh, find me on YouTube, okay? But when you click here, you'll click the start, okay? Whatever, uh, this is the assignment for this week. Project Earth Weekly Assignment Week 2, okay? You click start. I'm not going to give you answers, Via. Okay. Uh, these are the instructions. There's going to be some multiple choice uh, questions. There's constructed responses. It's kind of like your uh, your open ended ones. Uh, what do we call them? The ones where you write in on the test. I'm drawing a blank here. Not the multiple choice, but the. Um, I have no idea. I'm drawing a blank. I already forgot. Anyway, um, it'll it'll come to me right now. So when you click in, uh, click in, you go start, and then your story this week is Magic in the Park. A really easy story. It's it's fiction. It's a play. Okay? So it's a very short play. Um, now, in terms of your questions, they'll always be here to the right. Okay? Uh, now, don't click next because it says some questions in the current item remain unattempted. Do you wish to navigate to another item anyway? Okay? It should give you an opportunity to go back okay so when I click back I'm back to the very first question you have a total of 10 on this one okay as far as this button here response making do you catch it down here you see it okay I'm gonna go ahead. all right there you go click on it and uh, I think it's supposed to be a way of taking notes um, something like that but um, anyway but I'm not really particular of that. Just read the story carefully. Read it a couple times. Go back and forth. Um, again, I'm going to try to just get to a question, an open-ended one here. 
I think this one does. Ah, there we go. Make sure you're checking in on this. It says, explain how the setting in scene three is important to the plot of the play. Okay, and then in the plot, we're looking for conflict. We're looking for resolution. Use details from the play to support your answer. So again, you write down your answer. Again, scene three is just these two little paragraphs. So read it carefully. How is the setting important to the play right there? Okay, so after you read it, why is the setting important really to the play? Because it really setting sets the tone where the uh, play takes place. How does it affect the characters and that sort of thing? Give your answer here and use details, of, of course, to support your answers like your text evidence, okay? So that's basically reading, okay? And this At the very end, submit. It'll auto-generate a report for me and show me how you did. And if you're interested in knowing what your grade is, uh, I'll probably email it to you or ask me for it, okay? So that takes care of that. Now for social studies, okay? Uh, I know some of you are having some issues here. Now, when you go to Studies Weekly, again, you give it a minute to load. Hopefully, you guys have internet and it's uh, running okay. We're going to go into this one. It says, make sure you zoom on on this way. USA Studies Weekly 1565 to the present. That's the fifth grade one, okay? The other ones are other grade levels, and you know, you're always welcome to check it out, okay? Now, when you come here... I know some of you are on different weeks. That's okay. This week, though, if you notice right here, we have week 27 uh, in our lesson plan. So, again, if you didn't get a chance to complete 25, 26, try to do so as soon as you can. All right. But notice you can collect points. It'll give you some uh, multiple choice questions. So when you click here, now you don't want to take the test yet because you haven't read it. So when you continue reading, okay. It's very similar to what I would show you guys uh, before we started reading these. You can click on the videos, all right? And it's, it's basically the same thing that I would show you, which is really cool because the videos are nice, gives you a nice little introduction into uh, the whole articles, okay? So you can look at that. And then uh, it, uh, you could actually also click play. And it'll read it to you if you want. Put some headphones on so you don't bug your mother, your dad, which you're probably driving them crazy. I get it. I've got four kids, especially when I'm the one that's holding this here. Hey. Anyway, so you can look at all this and it'll read it to you. Read it to yourself, okay? And when you're down here, there's some questions that you can answer, okay? These give you some coins, okay? Uh... Really not that bad. It, it's uh, you go through it carefully, and then again, and it'll give you like a check mark, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then uh, there's bonus sources too. Or it'll just dull. Yeah. Straight away. And there's got some more information. It's got some cool stuff on the some of the military technology for this week, because now we're looking into the space race, how, how uh, between Russia, and United States, which is really cool. So again, there's more questions for you to answer. Get those coins, uh, penicillin, the U.S. Jeep by Poland, a picture. Alexander Flemington, that sort of thing. Pretty neat stuff. I mean, you can go back, all right? And you just go through these, okay? Once you read them all, and please do read them all, all right? Not all of them are very long, okay? It's just like you're reading a weekly, but uh, hold on, hold on. like you're reading a weekly at home, okay? Now, <clears throat> some of these I understand. Um, you know, you can collect coins. I think you can. Mm -mm. I think it, it didn't work you, out with this one, huh? We no, had, you, you had to print it, huh? Yeah, but if you just if you read it, you go down and, and click the get review coins. Yeah, the red um, coins, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's done. Right, because I I know some of these things you would have to do online. Now you're not. I'm not asking you to do that. If you want to print it or off to the side, blow it out, color it. By all means, go for it. That's okay. Otherwise, you know, yeah, like Via said, you can just come collect the coins and. It'll give you the check mark, okay? Now, at the once you're done with that, make sure you take the test. I think that's the one that's, what, 10 questions or so? Yeah. Something like that. I'll give you some questions over it. Answer those. You do the crossword puzzle um, here under play. Uh, misspelled words right here. That one, yeah. if you finish reading, I think you have to play that one on almost all of them for mm -hmm. some reason. I don't yeah. know why, but that's how it gave me the check point. Yeah, and see, the spelling is a big deal when you do crossword because some of you don't know how to spell correctly, even your own names. So this can help you to do the crossword puzzle correctly, okay? 
And then once you do all that, it'll send it, everything to me and I'll be able to, get, again, I can get your grades off of that and all that and, and uh, it's pretty cool, all right? So that's it for Studies Weekly, okay? Um, obviously, get in the light sale, do about, where is it? You don't have it on, you have it on the bottom? What, light sale? Light sale. It's up there. Oh, I didn't see it, sorry. Anyway, again, do about light sale, about 20, I'd say about 30 minutes, maybe three times a week at the very least. Make sure you always click reading, of course. Okay. And eventually it'll load. And if you guys don't have internet, I know Spectrum's offering free internet to households. Uh, uh, be patient with us as far as uh, I think the, the district is passing out uh, laptops or something if you don't have ones, which is pretty cool. All right. Like I said, we're going to get to Nearpod lessons uh, too. Again, pick the ones that have the little thunderbolt there. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, whatever. I don't, you know, I don't have Lightning to bolt. since I have the star. Hey, hey, I think it is. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, whatever. No one likes to show off. Anyway, so, Wait, again, get day. on here. But again, like I said, about 20 to 30 minutes a day, three times a week at the very least. Just, to, again, keep those uh, fluency skills uh, sharp for reading, okay? And, again, you guys are pretty familiar with that Galaxy. Um, I know some of your math teachers are signing iStation Math. You can get there. You could do iStation reading if you want. I'm not a big fan. If you want to do it, go for it. But that's basically it. Again, we're going to be using a lot of Nearpod. I know you guys like that. Had a lot of fun with it. We're going to be uh, sending code soon. And uh, we'll, we'll do our lessons and our work from there. Okay? What? What? Click. Oh. What are you talking about? Sorry. My daughter's the camera person. Hey. Anyway, we'll send you codes. You can go in. The sessions will be provided. And the, the work will go on from there. And hopefully it makes life a lot easier for you guys there. Instead of having coming to the, the main website. Which I'm about to show you here. This is where it says Remote Learning Academy. This is on our Herschel Antoine uh, School District page, guys. When you come in, uh, you click on Remote Learning Academy. Okay. And this is where all the lessons are for all grade levels. You guys are fifth, obviously. There's also fine arts if you do want to get very creative home, do some artwork that Miss uh, Martinez has provided. Some of the lessons at the PE coaches. I know they're posting a lot of stuff on Twitter. If you don't, uh, follow any of us on Twitter. You can catch a lot of updates there. Uh, of course, health and all kinds of other cool stuff here. Um, and when you click on fifth this week, uh, Ms. Fernandez posted it March 30th through April uh, 3rd, fifth grade online learning week two. And when you click on it, these are the plans for the week. Okay. And this is giving you what students, well, this is stuff you kind of normally see on our, on our uh, whiteboards. And what the, this is all for online learning. And it gives you just simple instructions, what to do, optional activities. If you're interested, uh, get in on there and go ahead and get it done. And, um, and that's basically it. Um, if I miss anything, again, shoot me an email, amena03 at sisd.net. Uh, you can come to my YouTube page right here. All right. And I go to my channel, all right, and there you see my lovely face right there, and again, I have some information on how to take notes if you're reading, again, I know we're also suggesting keep a, like a journal, write down what you learn, what your thoughts are for the day, uh, when you come here to discussion, if you want to send me a comment, you can here, that's another way to reach me if you have questions on anything about this uh, remote online learning stuff, okay? And there's a, I also have the Khan Academy there. I think it should pop up if you look at it as a returning visitor, if you need to look up stuff for math, uh, reading, social studies, or science especially. Okay. Anything else? I think I think that's about covers it for now, right? All right. And I'll send more updates here on my YouTube page. And if there's anything else uh, you guys need, make sure you uh, shoot me an email. Let me know. So... Like, subscribe, share, let your friends know. And don't forget, make sure to take evidence, text evidence on everything. Bye.